The reason why I decided to choose Choate over the other schools I was looking at was primarily because Choate just really interested me. It wasn't the sports school, it wasn't the science school, it wasn't the language school. It was the place that was just Choate and people here did so many different things. It was hard to put a label on any single student just as it was hard to put a label on the school itself. Where you go to high school should be a place where you know you're going to be happy. Like academics, people aside, community aside, you should be happy where you want to go. Um, and I didn't and I knew I was going to be happy at Choate because the moment I walked onto campus, people were smiling um, on my tour. As I was walking by, people were smiling at the tour guide saying hi. Um, and now that's one of my favorite aspects of the community. Between passing periods, between classes, so just saying hi. Look around at the community that you're joining. Um, the community of people that are just as motivated and passionate about learning as you are. Um, and that's what Choate is offering you. They're offering you a community where you can thrive by being surrounded by people that are just like you. And if you've made it this far as a prospective student, that's exactly what Choate sees in you. That's one of the things that makes the community so amazing is that no one's trying to impress anyone else. We're just trying to grow and learn and explore and create. And just everyone here is going to be friendly and they're not going to try and like put on a fake front because they think it'll make them look better because we all know that everyone here is their own person and we appreciate that and so when they say Cho is a place of many paths they really mean it because there's so much you can do and you can just be yourself. The reason why I chose Cho in the beginning is not why I like Cho today or why I think of Cho as a really great environment today um, and so I'm really glad that I've gotten that experience and sort of that you know, process of like maturing actually. I guess, okay, just the fact that Cho has really given me a lot of independence and confidence in myself over the past two and a half years, which is something I really wanted to do before college. Um, the fact that I have so many opportunities and have made so many connections is something that I'm forever grateful for about this school. She loves her Choate experience. She's, it's the best decision she's ever made. Um, she's growing, she's developing, she's learning. Um, not to say that any of it is easy, but she's really embraced the challenge that comes with living on her own, being independent, managing her day and her academic career, and has really taken ownership and driving that forward and seeking out resources um, you know, when she needs help. Um, so we, we're really proud of the choice that she made and the progress that she's making here on campus. The support system is at Cho, not only for me, but for my parents, was a really big reason why they were able to send me here because they knew like someone would always be looking over me. Of course, we have our rules and mirror of advisors, but we also have teachers that will, I have teachers that will talk to my parents every couple weeks just to like check in and make sure they know that I'm like okay. And they're, they're so accepting of every different type of parent, every different situation. And I think that communications today really make it far easier to be far away from a child. Um, certainly when I went to university and you could speak once a week for two minutes on a payphone at the end of the hall, um, would have been a very different experience for my parents. For us, between air travel and modern forms of communication, it's really been much easier to stay in touch than I think it ever has been in the past and, and has made the distance much, much smaller than it actually is. So sending her to Choate was one of the most difficult decisions I've ever had to make. Um, you know, because we are close, she's my baby. Um, but I think there comes a point in the parental relationship where you have to, you know, just make that sacrifice and do what some might think is crazy because I can tell you a number of family members and friends were like, you're doing what? <laughs> Where's that school? <laughs> How far is that away? You're sending her where? Um, but what the draw was for her was the academic rigor that she was looking for, um, as well as the, um, I guess, the preparation for college um, and, you know, just sort of the next phase of her education. And that had to outweigh what, you know, I might have preferred to do by keeping her close to me. It really has been a remarkable experience for him to be here. It's been great for him, it's been great for his learning, it's been great for his personal development. And while we're sad every time we say goodbye to him, either when he comes to visit us or when we're here to visit him, we're happy because we know he's in the right place for him.
It's cool. It's cool. But I would say for, for anyone from the West Coast, just follow your gut. And if you think this is the right place, you should do it and it will be great. So I came from a very international background. I lived in Shanghai for five years. So when I first came to Chote, what I was originally looking for was an international place because um, I've always wanted to hear other people's stories, get to know different experiences, and that's a big part of who I am and the person that I am. So being at Cho allowed me to do that, meet a lot of different people. Like the people. The people make Cho different. And I didn't realize that when I was coming in as a freshman, but I realize that now as a senior, like the people have made it all the better. It made my experience at Cho so much better. Um, just because you learn a lot from your peers in ways that are usually not advertised or not spoken about, um, and that's also really helpful. I chose Chope for the amazing academics, um, for the great community, and what was really important to me was the sports teams. Um, I heard a lot about them, and I knew they were really good coming into it, but I think I really found my home and all my best friends on the sports teams, and I've loved all my coaches and being with my team every day. So as a day student, I was actually involved in several academic and extracurricular activities that really brought me closer to other freshmen and other sophomores and other kids at the school. So I would say that it's really important to find your, your group of people that you think that kind of match your interests. So for me, I was a member of the cross country team and that really, I got to know a lot of seniors, juniors, sophomores, and a lot of freshmen. So that's actually how I was kind of how I first started forming connections and becoming, I'm still friends with a lot of those kids that I met freshman year uh, on the cross country team, but it's not just sports, it's also extracurriculars, what clubs you sign up for, you're gonna meet people there. So just knowing that even though you're a day student, the opportunities on campus give you the opportunity to meet tons of people and everyone has a different background so you get to learn tons of new things. This is pretty cliche, but I feel like people always talk, say like community, community. I didn't really realize like how important that would be. I came from a really small school where I'd known everybody for 10 years so this was like a huge change coming to a grade with 150 people freshman year but I think that I've always felt a sense of community. Um, people are very friendly and welcoming and encouraging. What I would say about the community is that Choate is really diverse in that there's a lot of different types of people here that are really driven towards different fields. I mean, some I like a humanities person, I like the arts, but like a lot of my best friends are really interested in the sciences and the math. And I think that that sort of like intellectual diversity in terms of what everyone is focused on academically is really quite amazing at Choate in terms of people like really being driven to succeed in like their um, fields of interest but at the same time it's not I think that people can also be really supportive of one, of one another even though um, they aren't necessarily like pursuing the same paths. Everyone has their own story of why and how they came to Chote and people people here have genuine interests and a lot of people just seem so surprised by how welcoming and inclusive they found the school. The, everyone I talk to about why they've come to Cho and how their experience has been, they've all had some moment where they like just stopped and were like, I'm at Cho, this is real, I, I have my own place, and that's really powerful to be able to, to find a place like that where everyone here is just grateful to be here and is happy to be here. You feel really comfortable to be who you are and you kind of enjoy being different but at the same time you feel like oh you're just like everyone else you can connect with every single person on this campus. Chota is pretty intellectually diverse and there are loads of they're like the best mathematicians in the world and they're also like the best artists and the best writers and they're just so many different types of people and I think that's really great like going to high school with like this bunch of people is like very unique of an experience and I'd say that um, that for sure is one of like Chota's biggest highlights. I'm absolutely in love with how dedicated people are to teaching others as well as being taught themselves. So it's a place where people want everyone to thrive around them. And that's really what I think makes this community so great.